ask our Bulls and Bears panel if the current hostile environment for business leaders is keeping the best candidates from taking the top jobs. Brenda, what do you think? Is it is it a hostile environment or is it a realistic environment? Well, it's a hostile environment in that I think people hate CEOs now as much as they hate lawyers. Um, and especially given this whole populist rhetoric that we're hearing, um, you know, we're hearing anti-CEO down the line. But the truth is there's a lot of very good CEOs out there. Course, and what happens yeah. is when you're in a, a stock market that's on a downtrend, you're going to see this because that's one of the problems about being a public company. If your share price is going to go down, you're going to get blamed for it. And you're going to be kicked out. Sometimes you can't make the decisions that are necessary to make a stock price go up in the next month or so. Um, it, you know, that, that's not necessarily a good business decision. So, Of course, Toby, Jimmy Kane apparently did make some very bad choices this summer when this whole thing was going through its, its, its worst beginnings. He was out on the golf course. Uh, I mean, he he owes some of his, his dismissal or his impending dismissal to sure. his own actions. Yeah, he was on the golf course, allegedly. Um, the, uh, you know, Jimmy Kane is a hands-off guy. Anybody who knows Jimmy Kane, you know, has known his style for 30 years, and he was not the guy who was suited for a meltdown. He, when you say hands-off, what that means is he trusts the lieutenants to solve his problems. The lieutenants couldn't solve the problems. Now, your question was, well, is this a bad time to be CEO? Well, you know, frankly, uh, I, I think it's a great time. You know, um, unless we're going into a bear market and Mr. Ship is right again for the hundredth time in a row, <laughs> we have a situation here that, that uh, look at Nardelli. Remember when he took over Home Depot? He did everything right. Um, you know, he got earnings up, he got, he got volume up, he got margins up. But yet, you know, he started in 2001. So by the time he got out, his stock options, you know, the stock never went anywhere. He went out. Boy, you know what? I like to take over, and I've been a CEO of companies. I like to take over when stuff is tough because then you get a chance the expectations are actually yeah, lower. Yeah, nowhere so to I, go but up, right? Nowhere to go but up. Uh, Peter, right? it was so good to see you laughing smile when somebody was teasing you, but uh, is it a good time or a bad time to be a CEO? Well, I, certainly on Wall Street, Wall Street has a major problem because these executives basically enrich themselves at the expense of their customers and their shareholders. And there's going to be a big backlash here. And Wall Street's going to have to change the way it does business. They're going to have to change these compensation structures, these bonuses, these options. It was all okay when they were private companies and it was their own money. But now that they're all publicly traded and they've got shareholders who they have to be responsible for, they can't treat them like patsies and they can't treat their customers this way or they're not going to have any customers they've got to stop giving out lousy investment advice and they have to be honest uh, with their shareholders and the people who are doing business with them well Gary B one of the problems we hear all, very often is the fact that you, you get to be CEO you get chummy with the board in fact you begin to put your friends on the board and then they'll do basically anything that you want they become a rubber stamp will that change uh, no, no, I, I don't think it'll change at all. I, you know, that is the history of, you know, when, when these guys started out in college, they were all members at Princeton of the same eating club or the same fraternities at, at University of Pennsylvania, and that's, I don't think that's ever going to change. And, you know, I think that goes in part to why I think it's probably a great time to be CEO. Look, uh, what, uh, Kane's out, right? Are we to shed a tear for him? No. What in the last few years he made? 28 million, 35 million. Look, the guy said it all back. They, well, I'll tell you what, this is probably, uh, being a CEO at a Fortune 500 company is probably the toughest job being next to an <laughs> NFL football coach. But on the other hand, there's no shortage of candidates to be an NFL football coach. Well, yeah, and then you have, Pat, you've got uh, John Thane leaving the New York Stock Exchange where he had great success to take on a real bear, and that would be Merrill Lynch. Well, that's exactly the issue of low expectations right there. I mean, Merrill Lynch has nowhere to go but up, and it's actually a pretty cheap stock right now. What's happened, though, is that the pendulum has swung the other direction right now in corporate America. You know, 10, 15 years ago, you pretty much needed to knife your secretary to get fired. I mean, it was pretty darn hard. Um, and you still got paid on the way out the door, right? Yeah, um, sure. But, you got but today, defended. <laughs> but, but today, you know, we've gone in the other direction. Today, you are seeing, I think, a little bit more short-termism from boards who, at the slightest hint that things aren't going so well, they're ready to kick somebody out so the board doesn't get fired. This is what typically happens. The pendulum goes one way, the pendulum goes the other way. We'll come back to something more approaching normalcy. But I do think some of the actions that have happened over the past, say, six to nine months, you are seeing a bit of a, a hair trigger on the on the. Um, part of boards of directors, which is no better for corporate America than sort of letting somebody hang around yeah. until they knife the secretary. Yeah. Brenda, about 20 seconds. Are we going to see corporations forced to do something from those inside the Beltway? 
forced to do so? Oh, absolutely. This is, I mean, there's such a hue and cry against CEOs. Like I said, it's just a win-win situation on either side of the aisle to go after. All right.